Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back. New people, qu'est-ce que vous attendez? Subscribe. Allez, vas-y, c'est très facile. Before I go any further, I want to thank you guys for not only watching my videos, but also interacting with the content by posting encouraging comments, whether it's right here on YouTube in the comment section down below or by text message. I really appreciate your support. That being said, you guys really like that Cameroon Tag video. That video has more views than any of my other videos. So, I figured I'll make another African-related video. It is Black History Month after all, and the month of love, even though you guys know how I feel about Valentine's Day. If you don't, check out my last two videos. I will link it down below for you guys. So today, Though Valentine's Day is behind us, I'm still going to be talking about love, but from a different angle. I'll be listing and breaking down a few African proverbs about, you guessed it, love. I'll start with definitions. If you aren't familiar with what a proverb is, according to the Oxford Online Dictionary, a proverb is a short, well-known, pithy saying stating a general truth or piece of advice. In other words, it's a simple, traditional saying that expresses truth based on common sense or experiences. They are often metaphorical. African culture and stories are chock full of proverbs. Lots of stories I remember being told as a child were largely based off of proverbs and they always had a lesson to be learned at the end of each story. I'm only now appreciating those stories as an adult. So without further ado, here are a few African proverbs, their country of origin, and what I think they mean. The source is an article written by Kobe Biakolo, and I will link it down below for you if you're interested in checking it out. Up first is the proverb of Ethiopian origin. When one is in love, a cliff becomes a meadow. You'll go the extra mile for someone you love. When you're in love, nothing is too much trouble. It's just like that Monica song. I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. I will be your hero, your strength. Anything you need, I will be the sun in your sky. I know I've wowed you with my singing voice, but I have to move on to the next proverb. It's from Uganda. It says, he who loves you, loves you with your dirt. That one is self-explanatory. See Lady Gaga's bad romance for reference. Now the next one I love because it's from Cameroon. It says, if love is a sickness, then patience is the remedy. How deep is that? I just felt that. Just give me goosebumps. I had to think about it for a second there. Basically, love and patience go hand in hand. At least that's my interpretation of it. Up next is a Congolese proverb, which I think is really funny. To love someone who does not love you is like shaking a tree to make the dew drops fall. This is unrequited love at its finest. I made a video somewhat related to this a while ago. Well, it feels like a while ago, but it's only been three months. I will link it down below for you guys. Full disclosure if you're gonna watch it. It's a bit long, about 16 minutes, and the lighting is terrible. I filmed it late at night, and this was before I had my new ring light situation happening. But I think it's good stuff, if I do say so myself. So yeah, check it out. The next proverb is my absolute fave. It's from Liberia. It says, let your love be like the misty rain, coming softly but flooding the river. Oh, I love that one. It's very intense. That means your love is not overt, but its presence cannot be ignored. That's how I interpret it. The second to the last proverb I have here is from Ghana. Love does not listen to rumors. Amen to that one. Makes me think of Hollywood romances. Most of them, I think, are broken up by tabloids, which are essentially rumors, yellow journalism. And so that makes me wonder, was it real or just for show? The last proverb I have here is from South Africa. Love, like rain, does not choose the grass on which it falls. You can't help who you fall in love with. And that's all I have for you guys today. Join me next Tuesday for a new video. Thanks again for watching, and bye. No one's cutting grass today. Thank God. But, uh, God, why is this so hard? Uh, do that over. What? <laughs> the truth. Uh, according to the Oxford Dictionary, where are these people in a hurry to? <laughs> African Dictionary. Well, a proverb is a. <gasps> what? Pithy. Okay, that was quick and painless. So great. That went well.